Bristol was my first game this year. Yeah. So I was a bit like, that's why I was kind of shocked when everything started kicking off because I was a bit like, that's come out of nowhere. At the start, it felt a bit weird. Didn't feel kind of right, but now, like being in the club so much with the boys, you just get used to it. Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable now than I did, and just exciting as well. Like, being able to play that standard of rugby at the quick, the speed that it is, is pretty, pretty fun. Like, I mean, it's, it's hard work, but I'm enjoying it. It's good. I think as I don't know, as a young squad, like. Uh, the uni boys particularly, we've been a part of the whole of pre-season and everyone's been a part of building what the next thing coming through at Chiefs is. And I think because it's a young squad, we have to push on and push ourselves a lot more because the standards from us have to be higher in order to push the team on. So I think as people have stepped up and stepped up their own standards, I mean, for me, I'm lucky it's pushed me into a better place now. And I mean... I'm just relishing what I have. So, I'm, but I think it's come from pre-season and come from it being a young squad and everyone kind of growing together. Like watching the uni boys play tonight, I'm sure you'll see some standout performances from the likes of Chesy, McKay, the guys on the wing, like especially some of the forwards. Like there's boys that have pushed hard through pre-season for places and will be playing a great standard of rugby throughout. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, so I started back in back in Hertfordshire, Hertford RSC when I was six, and then moved to Cornwall when I was eleven. I played for Newquay Hornets there until the age of sixteen, seventeen. Um, played all like the Cornwall stuff. Went to like, went to like trials and stuff like that, and then went from there to kind of the under fifteen, under sixteen setup at Chiefs through the junior academy, and basically from there taking the uni pathway. In a frame of mind, like, uni is kind of the next step in playing career and stuff like that. And that's where I need to be, to be playing the best level of rugby in order to get, well, where I am now in the next few years. But I didn't expect it to come this early kind of thing. But I mean, it's, yeah, it's been part of it, but uni is still a major part of my life. Like, I'm studying as much as I can after training, days off and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it still plays a massive role and I live with all the boys, so luckily we've got a seriously good support team around us, like my tutor, Ollie Witten and Rat as well, they help out massively with when we miss stuff, how can we catch up, what do we need to do, um, but luckily a lot of stuff's online, so we can catch up with videos that we missed and they, they put all the lectures online, so it's easy to catch up, but hard at the same time because you get back from an 8 till 5 training day and you're like, oh yeah, I've got two hours of lectures to catch up on and it's not the most fun thing to do but it's got to be done. Um, it's a bit of a weird one actually, so I probably, so I played centre up until I was uh, 17, 18 and then for my final year of 18s, um, I guess because I could kick and stuff like that, they were like, we'll try you at fullback, see how you go. Um, I was a bit taken aback, didn't really know what to do. <laughs> not Probably not one of the fastest out there, but kind of gave it a crack at 18s, it went well. And then as I came into pre-season at Chiefs, they were like, yeah, we'll stick you at back three and see how you go. And then just migrated there in the last year and it's kind of stuck. <laughs> but yeah, it seems to be going all right. Third year, last year, yeah. So the most important year. Well, <laughs> that's what they say, yeah. I think at the moment, it, obviously the start of this year and how things have gone, I've had to not change my mindset but be like, I'm going to have to balance one more than the other. And I think recently I probably have been prioritising rugby a lot more and the training schedule and stuff like that. But I think that's because that's what I wanted to do my whole life. So I'm like, I'm going to commit to that. I'm at a stage where that's what I need to do. And although like uni went well last year which has allowed me to kind of push on a bit more at the start of this year with training and playing and stuff like that so I think by having that I mean yeah it's allowed me to allow me to push on a bit more but it's still hard to balance but you kind of know what you've got to do to be stay organized and especially going into third year I'd say third year is probably the same workload just more intense and you kind of have to be a bit more 
dialed in on what exactly you're learning about. But yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. It was weird because the Prem Cup was my first experience of it. I was kind of like, I felt like it was this not the same thing, but it felt, I don't know, it felt similar, but obviously a bigger stage. Coming off the bench was a lot easier as well, because, well, not easy, because you don't know when you're going to on, but easier in the fact that I wasn't kind of going straight out there and had to do a job straight away, whereas Quinn's was a bit different. But. That was unbelievable. I had Hendo next to me with the like flames going up and stuff like that, and he was like, he was properly getting in the mood, and I was like, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, like, this is mental. Looking back on it now, I was like, it, it was a seriously cool moment, like, something that I won't really forget ever.